Hello everyone and welcome to week 47 of Power Thoughts with Dexter Howard. Over the last several weeks, we've been discussing the virtues of sonship. We said there are seven virtues of sonship. When we talk about virtue, we're really talking about potential. So we're talking about the potential that resides on the inside of every son of God waiting to be revealed. We discussed the first four virtues. Uh, every son of God uh, has the DNA of God. Virtue number two, every son of God is a follower of God. Virtue number three, every son of God is a servant of God. And virtue number four, every son of God is loyal to God the Father and to their assignment that the Father has given them in the earth. Today we want to deal with virtue number five, and that's every son of God is proven. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 8 through 9 says, Though he, Jesus Christ, was a son, he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. And having been perfected or proven, he became the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him. He was our model. Naturally speaking, to prove means to establish the validity or the truth about something through an argument or by giving of evidence. Our sonship is proven out through the fire, through the hard times of life, through the difficult times of life. And it is in these difficult times where we have a choice to make. We either choose to be overcome by life through the hard times or to be overcomers through the word of God. It is in those difficult times that we understand that the word of God is truly powerful. It is strong. And we also uh, find out how strong we are as sons of God, as we operate in the word of God and as we believe and trust in the word of God. As sons of God and as kingdom builders, our sonship must be proven out so that we can stand firm in difficult times. And we don't just tuck tail and run. Uh, at the appearance of a stressful time, when stressful times arise, we don't just throw in the towel and say, I give up. We don't have to stand firm in our own strength, for we have been given power to walk through this process of sonship. John chapter 1 verse 12 says, to as many as received him, to them gave he, the Father gave them the power to become sons of God. We have the power to become, to walk through the process of sonship. Jesus Christ, he's our example. He modeled this out through his death on the cross. What his death on the cross spoke, it spoke, I'm all in. I'm totally committed. And this is what the Father is looking from, for from each one of us. Nothing less than being totally committed, being all in. You see, there is a cost associated with sonship. That cost is humility, which is tested out through our obedience on a daily basis. Sons of God must be committed. We must be committed, especially in this generation that is in bondage to selfishness and where commitment and uh, being loyal uh, to an assignment is somewhat taboo. We must be committed. Are you committed to the process of sonship, to walking out God's plans for your life? Or when tough times and difficult times arise, do you just want to throw in the towel? Are you, are you susceptible to throwing your hands up and saying, I give up? If so, I want you to pray and ask the Father now, to give you the strength, to empower you to walk through this process of sonship. And it is a process. And if you ask the Father, he'll give you the help that you need. God bless you. We'll talk with you soon.